Today, we're checking out Luminar Neo, a photo editing software that relies heavily on AI to facilitate your workflow and make your photos come to life with a press of a button. So this software has been around for quite a while now, but recently Luminar Neo has come out with some pretty cool, substantial updates to their AI features. And as we all know, AI is pretty much everywhere around us. So I was intrigued to check it out, see how easy it is to use, and also share that experience with you guys. So I want to thank Luminar Neo for sponsoring today's video. I'm excited to see what this software can do. So this is the interface of the software, and as you can see, it's pretty easy to understand where you are, what you have here in your library, and where to go next. So first we have our catalog, and we have three basic tabs, the catalog, presets, and edit. It's very similar to other software that you might have been using up until this point, so you will be familiar with the whole interface very, very quickly. So first, let me start with a feature that I really like in Luminar Neo, which is called HDR Merge. And as drone pilots, we tend to take a lot of different shots with different exposures of the same shot, so we can have a nicely balanced image, so we have the maximum dynamic range, and we use HDR bracketing to merge all of these different exposures into one photo. Well, here we have a automated version of that. So you simply select all of your images that you have taken and you drag them into this panel HDR merge. And as we can see, we have an EV of minus 1.7, an EV of 0.3, and then an EV of plus 1.3. So we have three different exposures, which we can merge. If we go to the settings, we can press on the auto alignment feature. So we are sure that everything is properly aligned and we end up with a nice looking image and then we're good to go. We already have the HDR bracketing done for us automatically, which is a nice base for us to start editing our photo. However, sometimes it's easy to forget to take multiple exposures of the same shot and you only end up taking one. Well, you are still good to go if you use Luminar Neo, you can simply drag one photo that you want to have more uh, dynamic range from. So if we drag this photo, for example, into the HDR merge panel, it's still good to go. You can even do that with a single image. And if we press on merge, we will see that we have a better dynamic range already uh, from this photo as opposed to what we had on the original one. So this is before and this is after. And I think it's doing a pretty good job of, you know, lowering the highlights a little bit, turning up the shadows and leveling up the image in a way that doesn't look fake and it still has a lot of detail in every aspect of the image. And it's a good starting point to start your edit and then adjust the image to your liking so you, you end up with a perfect image in the end. Next, there is a feature that I really like and it's called Upscale AI and it's very similar to HDR Merge. You only need to drag the photo to this panel and it will upscale the lower resolution image that you have selected into a more usable image, which happens to, I guess, a lot of us. Sometimes you need a higher resolution of the image that you have and you don't have the original anymore. You only have the cropped version. Uh, which is in lower resolution. So for this specific scenario, this is the image that I have and it's 800 by 1122, which is a pretty low resolution. So let's upscale it here. And we have the choice between 2X, 4X or 6X. I will upscale it four times. And now I will just press upscale and we're good to go. The image is now 3200 by 4488. But let's zoom on, zoom in on my face. And let me just zoom in a whole lot. So we can see that there is a lot more detail now. Uh, and it's not just sizing up the photo and making it large. It's also adding some sharpness. It's adding some adjustments to the image. So it looks sharp and nice and clean. Uh, and of course, it brings back some details as much as possible. Of course, it's not magic. So it's still very, very much usable uh, in this, this variant of this photo, uh, as opposed to what we had here in the 800 uh, pixel photo that we started with. 
Next, we have focus stacking, which is incredibly useful if you're shooting some product photos, for example, and you have different focus points that you want to combine into one super image where everything is in focus. So for this example, I have chosen the Mavic 3 Pro. And then uh, first I started with uh, a, an image where the focus is on the camera. Then we have uh, an image with the focus on the Mavic 3 Pro logo. And then we have one third one, uh, which is uh, with the focus on one of the motors here. So to use focus stacking, you already know, we just drag these photos into the focus stacking panel. We make sure that auto alignment has been selected and we stack them. Here we have the final image. And as you can see, we have quite a lot of details now where everything is in focus. Everything looks nice and um, and, and smooth, uh, besides some of these dust spots that I really dislike, but it's not a problem for Luminar Neo. If you want to get rid of those, we can simply go to the edit panel. We go to erase, and there is a button here that, call, that says remove dust spots. And they are automatically removed. Now there's a, a, a few more that I don't like, so the only thing I need to do is select them. For example, here, maybe one here. And if we really zoom in here, for example, some small details that I don't want to have visible in the final photo, some dust here and there, and we just press erase and it's gone. It's really cool how easy it is uh, and it's automated. So you don't have to you know, to guess, you don't have to do any work. You just select them and the software is doing its magic and it removes everything you want it to. In case it removes something that shouldn't have been removed, you can just select it and go to restore and it will set it back to what it was originally. So obviously these are some pretty cool features, but Luminar Neo can also be used as a regular photo editing software with the addition of some AI features that I want to quickly show you now. So let me just take a look at this photo of a dam that I shot with one of my drones. And I really like the look of it. So uh, what we can do here is to go to presets where we have some pre-selected, predefined filters with different categories um, where you can quickly achieve a certain look. So it's up to you to go through them and find something that you like. But for this demonstration, I will not use any of these because I have something else in mind. So let's go to the edit tab. And now we can see we have a whole lot of different features that we can take advantage of. So first, let me crop this image as we have some type of vignette here that I don't like. And we have a the option to crop this photo uh, with by, by using this composition AI tool. And this is what Luminar Neo tells us is the composition, which I'm not perfectly happy with. I'm going to drag it a little bit more so. And then just use the rule of thirds kind of to make it look more pleasing. And then I will hit apply. So next we have this enhance AI uh, feature, which we can easily use to enhance the look of our image. and. One, one thing in this software is that everything is controlled by sliders. So it's really easy to go overboard and just, you know, make a very crappy image in the end. So I would advise you to be, to not go, go overboard with those sliders. So if you want to use this accent, make sure you only use just a small amount of it. But then we go to the sky replacement AI feature, which I really like because it's going to completely transform the look of this image. This has been taken during noon, I believe. And obviously I would have preferred to shoot it during sunset or sunrise. So for that, we will change the sky to this. So you simply click on this uh, and you have a different sky already, which gives you so many options to play with. Uh, and then you can adjust the horizon position, for example, if you want to have a different look, uh, if you want to hide this sunset portion of the sky, or you just want to move it around. So for me, I actually really like the, the look of this. So I will just keep it like so. You can adjust the vertical position as well, but I prefer to keep it at zero. Uh, 
uh, or you can flip the sky depending on what angle you prefer to have. Now, real light is something that makes a whole lot of sense for this uh, photo because it's going to implement some more um, yellow colors into our image. And I think something like this looks great because it gives that more warm feeling to our photo. And I forgot to mention, but we have mask refinement here in case there are some, uh, th some things that are not looking good with how the sky has been applied to your image. But I think for this example, it's actually done a great job. So it looks very natural. So I'm not going to refine the mask. We have a reflection tab where we can adjust the reflections. And as you can see, we have some reflections in the water and we can even blur the water, which is something that I would do, uh, something like that. Uh, we can adjust the defocus of the sky, but I don't want to because I want to, the sky to be complete in focus, just like everything else. And then we can adjust the rest of the things similarly to any other software that we have used before. We have smart contrast that will adjust the contrast uh, to just the portions that it feels need uh, more contrast. We can, of course, simply uh, adjust the highlights or the shadows and let me just quickly go through all the the little tabs here and adjust adjust them and edit this photo and show you the end result so this is the final image and if we take a look at the before and then the after we can see that it's a pretty substantial difference and uh, it might look a little bit too saturated uh, but this is how usually photos look like uh, when taken during the golden hour, during sunset, for example. So I'm pretty happy with the result. And if, if we take a look at the original photo, which is pretty dull and boring, uh, I'm, I'm definitely preferring the second option here. If you're a photographer who shoots more than just drone photos, then you can also take advantage of some other really cool extensions from Luminar Neo, such as Noiseless AI, which is going to greatly reduce the amount of noise you have in your photos, AI background removal for quick removal of the background from the subject, so you can easily adjust that and add a, another background, for example. Super Sharp AI, which adds a touch of sharpness to your photo. So if you have a photo that you really like, but it's kind of blurry, then you can apply super sharp AI and it's going to give you a much better looking end result. And Magic Light AI, which allows you to control multiple light sources in your photo. So if you want to try out Luminar Neo, I have a 10% discount code down in the description. Make sure you check it out or you can click this QR code on the screen right now to be taken directly to the webpage so you can sign up for Luminar Neo today. Thanks so much to Luminar Neo for sponsoring today's video. I think it's a fantastic choice for anyone looking to not only edit their photos, but also achieve some pretty spectacular things with the help of AI. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you in the next one very, very soon. Take care and goodbye.